evening class good evening everyone good evening everyone good evening good evening good evening everyone how are you all doing doing good great good evening bachcho good evening everyone welcome back welcome back bachcho i am doing damn good thage dela thage dela ha thage dela i'm good i'm not late actually i was waiting for the students to log in actually that's why okay so let's begin the session today it's superb thank you okay chal so okay i'm good great bachcho great and i hope you must be doing good as well so today we'll be moving forward till date basically some I mean, that management will tell you all these questions all these queries they can be uh, quenched by the management itself so you can call them up so they will be answering your questions there okay chalo come over here today beta we'll be uh, proceeding uh, from the last class and uh, i hope now everyone is clear with the thing called atomic weight gram atomic weight molecular weight and gram molecular weight is that clear ah uh, it's there beta uh, megna it's already there the class is already there on the youtube you can check it out yeah it is there okay and everyone knows how to calculate number of moles if the weight is given and will be weight upon atomic weight if atom is concerned and number of moles will be weight upon molecular weight if molecule is there this is for atom this is for atom and this is for molecule this is for molecule getting it and we all know basically yes very good very good now see uh, what is a molecule it molecule is nothing but a combination of many atoms okay okay no nothing beta i mean only this much i have done you can watch the class on the youtube and you can watch it there and if there is any query you can ask me later on okay don't worry at all so we will be moving forward from here onwards chalo i'll be providing you don't worry at all okay chalo come come now see suppose if i take carbon atom carbon atom and if i take 12 gram of carbon 12 gram of carbon boys tell me girls tell me that how many number of moles will be there how many number of moles will be there yes it will be weight upon atomic weight weight upon atomic weight so this is 12 atomic weight of carbon everyone knows is 12 so it will be 1 mole number of moles will be 1 okay great very good very good now let's take a second example now okay let's take second example let's take about gas let's take the example of gas okay okay now gas i mean let's take co2 let's take CO two and I am taking the CO two gas at STP. What is the meaning of STP? Who will tell me what is the meaning of STP? Come on, what is STP? Standard temperature and pressure. And what is the value? What is the value of temperature over here? Zero degree Celsius. And temperature will be how much? Sorry, pressure will be how much? One atm or one bar? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. Very very good. completely correct now see if i take if i take basically 44 gram of co2 at stp if i take 44 gram of co2 at stp come on who will tell me number of moles number of moles will be how many very good it will be again weight upon molecular weight is that clear weight upon molecular weight okay so this is 44 and that will also be 44 how much one mole so we are having one mole now actually when they tried to measure stp manideep i have written there stp standard temperature and pressure standard temperature and pressure standard temperature is 0 degree celsius and 
pressure is taken as one atm or one bar listen carefully and it will be all clear listen carefully i mean since we are moving into now 11th class you are preparing for a national level examination so your focus is very much required no i'll tell you what if you really want to clear any entrance examination one thing is very much required stp i have told you standard temperature and pressure oh oh yeah don't act that slow boys and girls even the girls are understanding way better boys stp it means standard temperature and pressure standard temperature and pressure temperature is 0 degree celsius and pressure is 1 atm or 1 bar okay is that clear now bhai ego ka bhav okay focus karo bachcho please do focus if you are not having focus you will be lost somewhere in the race getting it chal theek hai so this will be one mole now what wo it, the scientists who were working on this project basically they found one thing that if they are taking one mole of co2 at stp they found that volume of one mole volume of one mole of co2 was 22.4 liter this they found experimentally very good everyone doing very good shiva ishwar priya very good very good ha at atm means atmospheric pressure atm means atmospheric pressure okay 22.4 liter very good very 22.4 liter getting it and everyone knows that everyone knows that one mole contains how many particles how many particles one mole contains 6 into 10 to power of 23 particles of co2 these many particles of co2 is that clear or avogadro number very good this number is nothing but avogadro's number very good this is nothing but avogadro's number very good very good so can i say can i conclude from here that for co2 gas it is like say one mole is equivalent to how many particles avogadro number of particles yes or no very good and if i talk about that what is the volume of one mole of gaseous particles how much 22.4 liter agree or not that means i can say one mole of a uh, co2 gas will contain avogadro number of molecules of co2 and the volume they will occupy will be 22.4 yes or no this they found experimentally they were doing experiment and they took basically 44 44 gram of co2 in a vessel in a moving piston yes or no and they found that the the pressure basically the pressure was 1 atm and temperature they kept was 0 degree celsius under these condition the volume of co2 was found to be 22.4 liter yes or no beta getting a lot good very good let's take one more example let's take one more example and after that we will conclude we will conclude that let's take acha which gas i should take which gas i should take an example come on hydrogen i can take hydrogen okay chalo so let's take hydrogen and if i am taking 2 g of hydrogen tell me number of moles how many number of moles will be there how many number of moles very good weight upon molecular weight very good weight is 2 and molecular weight is also 2 and that will be 1 mole so if i take 2 g hai na i am getting what 1 mole is that clear now they were doing experiment again and 2 g at stp they took 2 g of hydrogen at stp and they found what 2 g hydrogen means what boys and girls 1 mole One mole hydrogen at STP. They again found the volume was twenty-two point four liter. Wow! Yes, very good. Lekhna, Ria, very good, very very good, very good. Shanmuk, I am saying that you are not understanding Shanmuk. They did it experimentally. They did it experimentally. Formula I'll teach you. Don't worry. No, they, we are not getting uh, how. I am saying they did it experimentally. they took basically they took hydrogen gas how much 2 g 
they took 2 gram hydrogen gas under conditions 0 degree celsius temperature and 1 atm pressure one atmospheric pressure yes or no beta ha chinna i am coming there yes so they found that again it also occupied 22.4 liter ha it will come for every gas that's what i am trying to tell you if i could have told you i mean directly it would not made much sense yes yes so one mole of h2 at stp occupies 22.4 liter and you know that one mole of hydrogen will contain how many particles a vogadro number of particles yes or no that means can i say can i say that one mole one mole of hydrogen will have how much of volume how many particles a vogadro number of particles and the volume will be 22.4 liter agree or not yes that's good and they kept on doing the experiment with every gas with every gas they found the same result that any gas at stp will occupy 22.4 liter so that became a law later on yes or no that became a law later on can i is it clear to everyone very good gautami vaishu very good very good so now we are going to conclude something we are going to conclude something okay tell me tell me one thing tell me one thing will you all agree with that well will you all agree with that, that can i say 22.4 liter of a gas gas is equal to 1 mole will you agree at stp yes at this is all at stp you know at stp at stp so tell me tell me everyone 44.8 liter of a gas will be having how many moles how many moles very good so how did you got it 44.8 divided by 22.4 that will be equal to 2 moles yes or no that's what you did yes very good okay tell tell, tell me 11.2 liter of a gas will occupy how much how many molecules no this is not for liquid solid it is only for gas this law is valid only for gas not for liquid solid na right? for liquid solid we have a different things so we'll discuss it separately yes so since 22.4 liter occupies i mean how is equivalent to 1 mole 11.2 liter of a gas will be equal to how much 11.2 divided by 22.4 and that will be equal to half mole very very good that will be equal to half mole very good very good so can i conclude can i conclude from here that number of moles of a gas is equal to volume of gas given upon 22.4 liter yes or no students come on yeah very good so that is a important formula you now know how to find out yes 22.4 liter is constant yes it is constant very good very very good brilliant so can we move forward now everyone n is number of moles n is number of moles okay n is number of moles i believe these students they were not present yesterday basically na so i'll ask more questions i'll ask more questions don't worry stp means standard temperature pressure standard temperature pressure means temperature will be 0 degree celsius and pressure will be 1 atm or you can say 1 bar okay 1 atm means one atmospheric pressure okay okay chalo theek hai come okay now understand this thing as well now you people know this is like one more important point coming up that you know that avogadro number of particles they contain one mole of a substance yes or no avogadro number of particles contain one mole of substance very good now tell me one thing 2 na particles will contain how many moles two moles very good very good tell tell me na by 2 na by 2 number of particles will have how many moles very good 1 by 2 mole half mole anyways na by 3 will contain how many moles 1 by 3 mole yes or no so i mean 
if you are doing these questions can we conclude can we conclude that that number of moles will be equal to number of molecules number of molecules or atoms given divided by divided by avogadro's number yes or no yes i am able to see your answers okay ha huh, i'll share don't worry no it is not multiply by that it is not multiply by that number of molecules or atoms divided by na how did you get 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by i'll explain that don't worry see okay don't worry at all see now see this thing any number of particles they contain one mole yes or no so x number of particles will contain how many moles will contain how many moles no 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 any number of particles avogadro number of particles they contain one mole x number of particles will contain no 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 you are not getting no you are not getting come on come on let's say let's learn this unitary method you know what i am saying i am saying understand five five particles assume that five particles they are equal to say y they are equal to y tell me one thing one particle one particle will be equal to how many y five particles are equal to y one particle will be equal to how many y by 5 are nahi 4 kahan se ho jayega y by 4 yes or no sir y by 5 y by 5 agree or not y by 5 okay so that is division that is called division so you will have to work on mathematics boys and girls if you will not work on mathematics this simple mathematics you might be in some problem beta you will be in some or other kind of problem so please work on the simple basic mathematics everyone should learn division multiplication addition and subtraction for physical chemistry at least this is required okay getting it okay so can i can i can i do it again can i do it again let's see that come on so let's say we are having a uh, 10 particles 10 particles they are equal to say or i can say x 10 particles are equal to x tell me one particle one particle will be equal to how many x x by 10 x by 10 yes or no okay very good come on now let's see what i'm saying that 10 mangoes 10 mangoes are equal to 2 apple they are equal to 2 apple tell me 5 mangoes 5 mangoes will be equal to how many apple 10 mangoes equal to 2 apple 5 mangoes will be equal to how many apple yes so how you will do it i mean let me see reframe it i mean over here one mango one mango will be equal to 2 by 10 apple 2 by 10 apple yes or no that is equal to 1 by 5 so if i say 5 mangoes 5 mangoes will be equal to how many apple 2 by 10 into 5 2 by 10 into 5 apple or you can say this will cancel up 5 to the 10 and 10 and 10 goes it will be equal to one apple are you getting it now are you getting it that how the division is being done everyone shrikant nilesh are you getting it kaushik azam very good very good ha mandeep now you got it okay okay chalo now let's come over here let's come over here so i'm going again i'm saying that 6 into 10 to power of 23 particles will be equal to 1 mole that is clear in the very first class okay we have done that particles means molecules or atoms anything 
विष्णुवर्धन आई मीन कैसे कर रहे हो यार तुम लोग ऐसे कैसे काम चलेगा यार विष्णु जी पार्टिकल्स मीन इट कैन बी एनीथिंग इट कैन बी यू आल्सो इट कैन बी पेन आल्सो इट कैन बी एनीथिंग इट कैन बी एनीथिंग सो इफ यू कलेक्ट दीज मेनी पार्टिकल्स दे विल बी कॉल्ड इफ यू कलेक्ट दीज मेनी पेन दे विल बी कॉल्ड वन मोल ऑफ पेन क्लियर है ठीक है सो टेल मी वन पार्टिकल वन पार्टिकल विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी मोल वन पार्टिकल विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी मोल दैट विल बी वन अपॉन सिक्स इन टू टेन टू पावर ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री मोल यस और नो और वन अपॉन एन ए वेरी गुड प्रमोद वेरी वेरी गुड वेरी गुड यस यस सो आई कैन से दैट आई राइट दिस थिंग एज एट एन ए नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एन ए नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स दीज पार्टिकल्स कैन बी एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स एनी थिंग ओके विल बी इक्वल टू वन मोल सो वन पार्टिकल सो वन पार्टिकल विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी मोल्स वन बाई एन ए मोल वेरी गुड बेटर वन बाई एन ए मोल नाउ नाउ टेल मी नाउ टेल मी दैट एक्स पार्टिकल्स एक्स पार्टिकल्स विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी मोल्स very good x upon na these many moles very very good very good now everyone got it very very good very su supremely good pavan very good samir now correct now correct riya correct shanmukh correct na this is avogadro's number see the problem is that you are joining the classes irregularly so that's the problem okay so if you are joining it i'll suggest you you please uh, go and watch the youtube channel and I, i have explained that in detail you will learn that okay so can i give you some more examples can i give you more examples raja vamsi it's okay completely okay have patience and just keep on learning whatever you miss they basically, basically try to learn it in the youtube class okay okay very good very good come now now come on so now we are clear come on tell me n a number of particles will be giving you one mole yes or no and x number of particles will give you x upon n a number of moles yes or no so can i say that number of moles number of moles will be equal to what number of particles given number of particles given number of particles given which is what x upon avogadro's number yes or no yes or no everyone now correct supremely good bahut acche bachcho bahut acche bahut acche shandar don't worry jyotsna exam is very far away so you are learning the basics now you are learning the basics now good very good okay chalo aage badho come 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 <coughs> come now let's solve it let's solve it na so question i am giving you find number of moles number of moles in 3 into 10 to power of 23 molecules molecules of co2 or nh3 come on come on tell me how many are wa kya baat hai superb superb 1 by 2 mole yes since we know that 6 into 10 to power of 23 particle that is avogadro number of particles they are equal to 1 mole then 3 into 10 to power of 23 particles will be equal to how many mole yes it will be equal to what 3 into 10 to power of 23 divided by 6 into 10 to power of 23 this will cancel up and 3 by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 that's it very good manideep ishwar very good vishnu also got the answer yes come on shanmukh got it shiva got it everyone is getting that keep it up keep it up keep it up ha but someone was asking a doubt uh, uh papuri you were asking some doubt ha pavan it's it up to sir it was solved okay it was solved very good keep it up keep it up okay now tell me one thing chalo let's solve that let's solve one few more question come on tell me uh find number of moles number of moles in 12 into 10 to power of 24 uh co2 molecules co2 molecules come on come on be careful be careful be careful 
Pawan is getting right answer. Ha, now correct. Now you are giving the correct answer. It's not two. You should look at the power. Look at the power. The power is doing the game there. Now you are getting the correct answer. Very, very good. Very good. Superb. Superb. Now we know that 6 into 10 to power of, or we can simply say that now, since we know the formula now, number of moles will be equal to what? Number of particles given. Number of particles given divided by Avogadro's number. So this is what? 6 into 10 to power of 24 upon 6 into 10 to power of 23. 6 and 6 will, sorry, this is 12. Sorry, my mistake. This is 12. So this will be 12, 6, this is 2 times, and 10 to power of 23 will cancel with 10 to power 23. We'll be having 10 now. So 10 into 2 will be equal to 20. Very good. Very good. Just keep on doing. Ha! Huh. Don't be in hurry. There is no chance that you should be in hurry. Take it easy. What many people do a blunder while doing the questions, they are in hurry kind of thing. They're jumping onto the conclusion. Observe, just observe, then give the answers. Very good. Very good. Very good. So can I give you a few more questions? Can I test your mathematical skills? Okay. Chalo. Good. Very good. Very good. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Now solve it. Come on. Find number of moles in 3 into 10 to power of 20 uh, hydrogen molecules. Come on. Hydrogen molecules. Oh, bhai, Tabassum is having some problem. See, beta, understand this thing. First of all, wait, 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 beta. Someone is having some trouble. Beta, please work on mathematics, beta. And I'm not saying work on the tough, tough mathematics. Do simple, simple questions. Do simple question. See that. Tabassum, please understand. See, 10 to power of 24 upon 10 to power of 23. Can I write this as 10 to power of 23 into 10? Can I write it, Tabassum? So we are okay. Okay, now this is 10 to power of 23. So this and this will cancel up. Tabasum clear or not? You have to learn this. Tabasum clear or not? Be quick, be quick. Tabasum, where are you? Okay, clear. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> now find number of moles in 3 into 10 to power of 20 molecules of hydrogen. Come on, who will show? Who will tell me? Okay. Let's see that. So number of moles is number of particles. 3 into 10 to power of 20 upon 6 into 10 to power of 23. Yes or no? Good. So this will be 2 times. And I have told this will cancel with this. This will be 10 to power of 3. Everyone will agree? Yes. So this will be 1 upon 2 into 10 to power of 3, or you can simply say, you can simply say, Achha, who will show me this thing in terms of negative power? This is very, very important. In terms of negative power. Okay, see, please learn it carefully. Tell me one thing. Can I take this 10 to power of 3 up? Can I take it up? Very good. This will be 10 to power of minus 3 upon 2. Upon 2. Very good. Very good. Now see this thing. Can I write this as, can I, can I multiply by 10 and divide by 10? Can I write this thing as 10 into 10 to power of minus 4 upon 2? Tabassum, can I write it? Can I write this thing? This is correct or not? Ha, Papuri, correct. Correct, 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 correct. Very good, Pavan. Very, very good, Tabassum. Very good. Now nah, good. Very good. So this will be 5. This will be 5 into 10 to power of minus 4. Agree or not? All of you getting it? So these many moles are present. So I hope now this concept is becoming clearer to you people, all of you. All of you are getting that. So can I do one thing now? Can I bring all the formulas on single page now? All the formulas on the single page? Because you have derived it. You have understood everything. Let's see that now very quickly. So number of moles will be weight upon molecular weight. Yes or no? Or weight upon atomic weight. If atom is given, agree or not? 
first formula this is the first formula second formula is number of moles will be volume of gas volume of gas at stp volume of gas as stp divided by 22.4 liter yes or no no 1 by 200 is not the answer no 1 by 2000 beta mani please check it up there were three zeros which need to be cancelled okay so there's a second formula that is the second formula okay third one third one number of moles will be what number of particles number of particles given upon avogadro number of particles is that clear boys is that clear? Charan, i'll give i'll do many examples don't worry at all we'll do many many examples just see that is all these all these three formulas are clear to everyone yes good very good very good super good can you please give first one more examples charan which one first one weight upon molecular weight weight upon molecular weight i'll give rajendra will come <clears throat> we'll do that i'll be giving you now many questions don't worry we'll doing more questions and that too quickly now okay so can i give you a chart of it if you if you if you don't uh, worry about that don't worry about it i'll i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it can i give a chart of it so it becomes very simple now okay chalo come come this is number of mole the most important thing in the world of physical chemistry number of mole shake altaf i'll explain that don't worry don't worry have patience so see if if weight is given if weight is given number of moles will be equal to what divide by divide the weight by molecular weight or or atomic weight as the case is you will get number of moles yes or no 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 bhuvan kruti that is not the correct answer the 5 into 10 to 0.2 no no that will be wrong answer no is that clear and now very very important thing volume of gas at stp at stp if given in liter if given in liter if you want number of moles divide this by 22.4 liter agree or not agree or not that's good that's very very good that's very good if the volume of the gas at stp is given in liter it should be in liter you divide by 22.4 see the arrows see the arrows where they are moving from here to here if the volume is given you want number of moles divide by 22.4 liter and if weight is given divide by molecular weight or atomic weight as the case may be and and one final thing one final thing if if number of particles number of particles are given number of particles are given you want number of moles divide by divide by avogadro's number see that ha that the mind map yes divided by na is that clear now is that clear good very good very good so uh, I, I i think i think now it will be quite clear to all of you crystal clear i want response from everyone everyone please respond okay you're writing okay okay keep writing first of all write down <clears throat> very good very very good now once you are able to connect the chemistry beta there is no one who can stop you like if you believe that sir my chemistry is not weak the reason was that uh, what my chemistry was weak the reason is that you were not able to connect those things once you connect those things the clarity comes once the clarity comes you are a champion already there getting it okay okay chalo dekho zara usko bachcho come over here so let's play with this now shall we play with this now this thing okay chalo acha tell you one thing let let me ask you one thing <clears throat> like these are the highways these yellow lines are the highways yes or no 
and this is basically a crossroad kind of thing the kind of press crossroad yes or no so if i ask you from you have to move from volume to number of particles can you move ha it's a junction yes it's a junction very good very good so i mean if you have to move from here to here can you move you 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 people drive bike or scooty or what or a tonga or auto what do you ride what do you drive you people don't drive at all or you drive bicycle a aeroplane ah ye dekho feku feku number 1 who drives who is driving a plane who drives plane bike jet lamborghini lamborghini hmm and the people who are driving lamborghini as are, are attending my class that means i should be bill gates ha ye sahi hai yaar ye sahi hai helicopter honda shine okay and ah acha that way okay okay then that case rolls royce bahut badhiya bahut badhiya in that case i my one of my best friend is elon musk and i'll be soon driving the space ships we keep on driving lamborghini on earth okay chalo theek hai so the point is that okay beta come 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 over here beta please come over here uh so what you will do first of all you will divide the volume of gas by 22.4 acha bachcho see listen to me if you are coming inside you are coming inside you are dividing you are dividing but if you have to go outside in the opposite direction what you will do you will into multiply very good very very good answer so if you are coming inside you have to divide it if you want to go outside you have to go outside multiply so come on come on come on if over here you will come here by dividing by 22.4 but from here if you have to go there multiply by na multiply by na and you will get what number of particles number of particles yes or no get okay, good good acha sab suppose if they have given you weight if they have given you weight this is like junction law of electric current yes correct 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 so if they give you weight boys and girls can you come here can you come here this place can you come how you will come divide by molecular weight or atomic weight you will come over here and then multiply by 22.4 very good ha we'll do chinna we'll do many questions but i'm just giving you idea how you will do it how you will do it Yes, Pramod has given the perfect formula. He has written the formula as well. Weight upon molecular weight into twenty-two point four. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Correct, 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 correct. Acha, chalo tell me one thing. Who will tell me if they give me number of particles? If they give me number of particles, who will give me the weight? Who can give me weight? Come on and write the formula there. Be quick. Come on. if they give you number of particles you will divide by na you will divide by na and then multiply by molecular weight or atomic weight yes then into atomic weight or molecular weight as the case may be very good very good now you are starting to play now you are starting to play with the formulas very good so once you start playing with the formulas the game belongs to you you are the clear winner so are you ready to handle first of all we will i didn't understand sir okay okay beta what happened papuri where you got lost you doing so good up until now so which point you are missing over here see if you are coming inside you have to divide but you have to go outside you have to multiply okay i'll do that chalo come on so i'll begin with suppose they are giving they have given you weight they have given you weight and they want number of particles chalo help me help me all of you help me all of you come on see that first thing i am doing over here is that they have given weight and i want number of particles number of particles number of particles will be equal to weight divided by molecular weight so when you have done this operation you are actually here papuri you are here yes or no beta now from here to here 
from here to here you have to go now so you will do what multiply by na multiply by na yes or no now clear papuri now clear or not yes good very good now come on tell me come on tell me so i am giving you volume of gas and you have to find out number of particles come on who will tell me number of particles i have given you volume of gas in liter come on come on come on so this will be volume volume given upon 22.4 so i am here now multiply by na multiply by na is that clear bang on very good very very good very good clear eh? very clear so who will tell me now who will tell me if i give you if i give you weight and you have to calculate volume of the gas if i give you weight you have to calculate volume of the gas nishant akilesh nilesh bokum dev ye kaise kaise naam hai tumhare yaar naam nahi padne mein aa rahe idhar dekho come on so i am giving you weight you have to find out volume of gas volume of gas at stp will be equal to what weight is given weight divided by weight very good yaar kya baat hai kya baat hai super weight upon molecular weight if the molecule is there okay and then what into into 22.4 liter into 22.4 liter very very good very very good now i think everyone is satisfied okay what we are doing right now rajendra naidu clear hai very good very good very good riya azam tabassum very good khyati very good fantastic so like one more thing so if i give you uh, number of particles if i give you number of particles can you find out the weight can you find out the weight if i give you number of particles come on weight will be equal to let me see who can do faster than me come on come on weight will be equal to what number of particles they have given you so it will be number of particles number of particles upon na and then into into molecular weight if molecule is given who oh my god i lost the race mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everyone won mm -hmm. anyways i'll try next time i'll beat you next time don't worry at all don't worry at all shrikant beta clear good pavan clear lekhna clear pramod clear hemant clear very good very good very very good super outstanding outstanding so can we move on to questions now quickly let's play with that now it's time to play now have we have done a hard work yes vijay very good beta vijay very very good vijay brilliant brilliant beta come on come on okay chalo aa jao now i'm giving you questions i'm giving you questions now come on come on question number 1 i'm giving you and you will assume that we are at stp which conditions we are stp i will not write all the questions will be at stp all the questions will be at stp okay ha huh. i'll give you easy questions don't worry all all questions are easy if your concepts are clear okay then all questions will appear simple easy no problem over there okay chalo now question number 1 we are giving you and i'm giving you 88 gram of co2 at stp you have to find you have to find first number of moles of co2 second volume of co2 third acha boys and girls can i write number of particles as hash short form please allow me please please kuncham give me some freedom trivikram okay now hash means number of particles hash means number of particles number of molecules of co2 number of molecules of co2 come on oh yeah two moles okay two moles and volume will be 44.8 liter okay okay mahima very good vishwa very good shanmukh very good vishnu very good what is one what one there is nothing one is number of moles of co2 number of moles of co2 and means number of moles co2 means number of moles of co2 good correct correct so can i solve the first question 
Let me solve the first question. Let me solve the first question. The first question is that you have to find out number of moles of CO2. Now, number of moles, if weight is given, is actually weight upon molecular weight. Yes or no? And that will be equal to Kangya weight. 88 upon 44. The molecular weight of CO2 will be equal to 2 moles. Very good now. Second, if you know the number of moles, can you find out volume? Can you find out volume? Yes, we can find out volume. So volume is what? Who will tell me what is volume from number of moles? If you have got number of moles, multiply by 22.4. Very good, Kaushik. Very good. Very good. Very good. So this will be number of moles into 22.4 liter. Yes or no? And that will be 2 into 22.4 liter. Will be equal to 44.8 liter. 44.8 liter. Is there anyone better who is not getting the answer of this question? Everyone I have got the answer. From number of moles, if you have to move to, from number of moles, you have to move outside, multiply, then multiply, coming inside, divide. Clear? Good, very good. Okay, now number of particles, number of particles, third. Number of particles or number of molecules of CO2. Who will tell me once you got number of moles, you can find out number of particles also. How? Number of moles into Avogadro number. So number of moles are two. So this will be two into Na. Two into Na. Yes, that's it. Very good. Very good, Peter. Everyone is getting that answer. Superb. 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 Or you can write down 2 into 6 into 10 to power of 23. That will be equal to 12 into 10 to power of 23. Clear? Vishnu beta, is that clear? Gitanjali, Vishwa, Vardhan, Vishwa, Bapeta, Srikant, Bokam, Akhilesh, Nilesh, Ishwar, all of you, Kushmanjali, very good. Yashwant, great, great. Great. Everyone is getting that. So now, can I give you a few more questions? Can I give you more questions? Checkmate, yes. Checkmate. Okay, chalo, chalo, chalo. Great. Okay, let's move forward now. So this is one more question for you people. And let me see how you will handle this question, okay? Mm -hmm. Dun -dun -dun. Got the question. 5.6 liter of NH3 at STP. This thing is given to you. 5.6 liter of ammonia gas is given at STP. You have to find, find first number of moles of ammonia. Second, you have to find out weight of ammonia. And third one is find number of molecules of ammonia. Come on, let me see that. Don't do blunder. Don't do blunder. Ria, don't do blunder, beta. Pawan, correct. Vanilla, correct. Vishnu, correct. Nilesh, correct. Good. Azam Ali, Saif, correct. Mahima, correct. Mohin Ali, correct. Very good. Shiva, no. Handle it with care. Yashwan, correct. Hemant, correct. Vishwa, something went wrong. P. Reddy, Theja, correct. Shanmuk, no, 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 no. Shanmuk, something went wrong. Pushpanjali, correct? It's okay. Okay. Take your time. 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 Very good. Give me all the answers. Third question is number of particles of ammonia. Number of particles of ammonia. Hmm. 
Yes, let me check now. So first question we are doing, number of moles of NH2. They have given volume. So number of moles of NH3, not NH2, NH3. Number of moles of NH3 will be what? Volume given in liter upon 22.4 liter. Yes or no? Everyone agrees that. 5.6 upon 22.4. When you will solve it, boys and girls, you will get 1 by 4. 1 by 4. How many of you got 1 by 4? I saw many people getting 1 by 4. I saw many, many people getting 1 by 4. Yes, yes, yes. Correct, correct. Good. Great people. Good number. <laughs> Sir Vishnu Vardhan. Okay, good, good. Good. Arif also got it. BN also got it. Okay, good. But very good. Okay, now see this thing. Let's see this thing. <clears throat> Second one. Weight of ammonia. So once you have got number of moles, so you want weight, number of moles into molecular weight. When you have to move outside, multiply, multiply. No, no, no. It's okay, Ria. I mean, you can have patience. Keep on working. Do practice more questions, okay? So number of moles is 1 by 4. Molecular weight is 17. It will be 17 by 4 gram. Yes or no? 17 by 4 gram. Yes, and if you solve it, you will get it 4.25 gram. 4.25 gram. Or in the language of physical chemistry, you can say approximately 4. Approximately 4. Like someone is asking that what is the molecular weight of ammonia? By tell what is the molecular weight of ammonia? You know that, that nitrogen is 14, hydrogen is 1, hydrogen is 1, hydrogen is 1. So the three hydrogen, so 14 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Bhai, ye to karna padega. 17. This to beta, you have to run. Yes, Vardhan is correct. 17 AMU in micro world and 17 gram in macro world. You have got it. You got it. All of you got it now. Clear? Okay, chalo, theek hai. Okay, okay, okay. Now, third one coming, number of particles of ammonia, number of molecules of ammonia. So, number of molecules of ammonia will be, once you got number of moles, that's the crucial hint. It will be number of moles into Avogadro number. When you get number of moles, go outside, multiply by Na. Very good, very good. This will be equal to, you can say 17 by 4 into Na. So, you can leave your answer here. You can leave your answer here. That's it. Very good. Very, very good, everyone. Very good. So can we, shall we do more questions now? Shall we do? Okay, okay. Chalo, now you will solve it. You will solve it. Okay, okay. No, there is no need to simplify. There is no need to simplify. Is one by four. So question is over here, and let me give you one good question. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's come to water. Right? Let's come to H2O vapor. H2O vapor means gas, right? H2O vapor. I'm talking about H2O vapor. Okay, Hari Priya. Where you're not getting it? Come on, come on, tell me. What you're not getting? Come on, be quick. Everyone is giving me correct answer, Vita. Everyone is giving me correct answer. Third, ammonia. Ha, vapor means gas only. Third answer. Okay, I'll explain the third answer. See this thing. They are... Asking number of molecules of ammonia. Now you have to solve number of molecules of ammonia. You got number of moles. Now you once you got number of moles, you need to find out number of particles. Multiply by Avogadro's number. This stuff we have done over there. Navita, you see that. You're not focusing over here. Once you got number of particles, multiply by Na. Going outside require multiplication. Okay? So let me explain this thing again. Number of moles are here. Now, I'll be going outside. I'll be going outside. Anna? I'll be going outside. Here is volume of gas. 
in liters at STP, no doubt about it. This is weight and this is number of particles. So when you are having number of moles, you want to go outside here, multiply by molecular weight or atomic weight as the case may be. Here, multiply by Na beta is so simple beta outside, multiply by 22.4 liter. Okay, 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 there, okay, I got it. So that was, no, no, sorry, beta, sorry, my mistake. So this will be one by four, my mistake. Got it, one by four, because number of moles are one by four. This is not, this is the weight. This is the weight we're looking for. This N is one by four. Correct, 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 beta, correct, correct, correct. It's completely correct. Sorry, sorry, it's okay, okay, good. Now it is clear. Now, so why you were saying all of you that this is correct? So I kept on moving basically from there. Correct, correct. Mr. Handsome, very good. Rhea, very good. I believe now, uh, what was the name of the student? I mean, who said that, I mean, are you getting it now? Hari Priya, is that clear now? Ha, got it. Okay, okay, okay. Hari Chandana, sir. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. So you should point out, if there is some blunder out there, just point it out, just point it out, yeah. Okay, Mr. Hanson, okay, got it, got it. Chalo, aajau. Theke. So let's do one more question. And I'm giving you vapor, vapor means, vapor means gas, vapor means gas. Okay, just one said that, Vishnu also said that. Okay, okay, chalo, come on. This is H2O vapor at STP, okay? And H2O vapor, I am taking beta, let's say 112 liter, 112 liter, find, you have to find first, number of moles of H2O vapors, second, find the weight of H2O vapors, third, find number of particles of H2O vapors, come on bhai, solve, now solve it as fast as possible, come on. Very good. Be careful with the calculations. Be careful. Very good. Very good. I need more answers. I need more answers. Come on. Come on. That's it, that's it, that's very good. Very, very good. Hmm. Most of you are getting the right answer. Most of you are getting the right answer. Keep it up. Very good, very, very good. Okay, let's see that, let's see that. So first will be number of moles of H2O. So number of moles will be, if the volume is given, it will be volume in liters divided by 22.4 liter, 112 upon 22.4, this will give you five. Yes or no? Five moles? Yes. No, there's already something is wrong. One by, not one by two, it will be five. Uh, it will be five. Chalo, hai. Very good. Very good. Now, second, second is what? Weight of H2O. So weight of H2O will be what? Weight will be number of moles into molecular weight. And number of moles are five. Molecular weight of H2O is 18. Yes or no? Very good. 18 fives are 90. 90. 90 gram is the right answer. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Now, next question. I mean, that is third one. What is that? Number of molecules of H2O number of molecules of H2O and that will be how much? Come on, that is number of moles into Avogadro's number. Number of moles are five. So five into six into 10 to power of 30. This will be equal to 30 into 10 to power of, sorry, 24. My mistake, my mistake. 10 to power of 23, 10 to power of 23. So who will simplify this thing? 
can i write down this thing as 3 into 10 to power of 24 can i write down very good very good very good or you can say 5na one and same thing or you can say 5na as well so ram charan where you got stuck now come on where you got stuck where which part first part second part or third part which one in first question it is 10 moles in the first question it is no it is not 10 moles 112 divided by 22.4 will be 5 only will be 5 only not 10 over here number of molecules of h2o will be n into avogadro number n is how many 5 and avogadro number is 6 into 10 to power of 23 ram charan isme kya dikkat aa gayi yaar ram charan is it clear or not work hard dream big says kaushik vardhan got it now great very good. very good so work more on calculation and how you will do it you will basically work hard as kaushik says work hard keep on working hard and keep on practicing keep on more and more practice okay okay nithya i'm giving you some more questions huh? explain two weight of h2o weight is what number of moles into molecular weight yes or no okay so n is 5 molecular weight of h2o is 18 5 into 18 is 90 now huh, we should never mind i mean on the way you will do some blunders the idea is to correct it rectify it and become more stronger okay okay Chalo. Achha, now you want more of these question or a little bit different question little bit different question come on different question so i mean you have become champion of this thing champion of this thing okay good very good Chalo, we have a question now so let's move bit differently who will tell me in one molecule of co2 here i'll write molecule and here will you have to answer me atoms how many atoms are there in one molecule of co2 how many atoms are there all right 28 39 one molecule of co2 how many atoms are there are no two atoms are not there there are three atoms three three atoms are there see that this will be c o and o first second and third three atoms are there three atoms are there one carbon two oxygen atoms yes Hemant, correct vishal correct Gautam, correct very good getting it or not okay okay come on come on come on one molecule of nh3 will have how many atoms how many atoms one molecule of nh3 four atoms yes n h h h one two three four one and and three h one and and three h good very good very good one molecule of ch4 will have how many atoms amazing amazing five one carbon and four hydrogen atoms total becomes five yes or no very good very good now understand the total number of atoms present in one molecule is called atomicity is called atomicity so if i write over here if i write over here atomicity atomicity for this it will be three for this it will be four for this it will be five very good very good atomicity is what number of atoms total number of atoms present in one molecule okay can i give some more okay so one molecule of h2so4 one molecule of h2so4 will have how many how many atoms come on two hydrogen atom one sulfur two hydrogen atom one sulfur and four 
oxygen atoms. Total becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Atomicity will be seven. Good. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Potassium dichromate, K2Cr2O7. What is the atomicity? Number of atoms present. Okay, two potassium, two chromium, and seven. Two plus two, four. Four plus seven, 11. Very good. Well, atomicity will be 11. Now you can do these questions directly. Yes or no? Good, very good. Very good. Very, very good. What is the atomicity of two? No, no. Atomicity is defined basically for one molecule. It is defined for one molecule. See that I am writing one, 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 one. You know? Chalo. Come on, tell me. Come on, tell me one thing. Question is there. Find number of atoms. Find number of atoms in five molecules. In five molecules of CO2. Come on. Five molecules of CO2. Who will tell me? Five molecules of CO2. Oh, 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 oh. One CO2 contains three atoms. Yes or no? Yes or no? So five CO2 will contain five into three atoms. Yes or no? Atoms will be equal to 15 atoms. One contains three. Five will contain 15. Clear? Clear? Very good. Very good. Can I ask you more questions? Come on, come on, come on. You are building the basics. You are building very good basics. And I'm telling you, within two days, you will be at a very good level as far as mole concept is concerned. Mole concept is concerned. Within two days, I'm telling you. Within two days, I mean, you will be able to beat all your friends, wherever they are, in terms of this much part of mole concept. Trust me. Okay? Chalo, 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 chalo. Question is there. And I'm asking you, and I'm asking you, uh, hmm, find number of atoms, number of atoms in uh, 10 molecules, 10 molecules of CH4, 10 molecules of CH4. Okay, one molecule of CH4 contains five atoms, no doubt about it. So 10 CH4 will contain 10 into five atoms. That will be equal to 50 atoms. Will be equal to 50 atoms. Come again? No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Completely fine. They are doing very good today. Very, very good. Supremely good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, now I'm asking you one question. Little bit upper, little bit upper, okay? Okay, find total number, total number of protons, total number of protons in, in, in one molecule, one molecule of CO2. Come on. Find total number of protons in one molecule of CO2. Total number of protons. Total number of protons. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's see that. Let's see that. Okay, so CO2 will be CO2 will be C, O, and O. Who will tell me how many number of protons are there in carbon? In carbon, six. Very good. That's the atomic number of carbon. How many are there in oxygen? Eight. How many there? Eight. Total becomes eight plus six, 14. 14 plus eight equal to 22. So 22 protons are there. 22 protons are there. Yes or no? Yes, good. Who will tell me total number of neutrons? Total number of neutrons. Total number of neutrons. Come on. So again, six neutrons, eight neutrons and eight neutrons. Yes or no? We have done that earlier. Very good. So again, 
22 protons, 22 neutrons. And who will tell me? This is a good question now. Electrons, total number of electrons. Who will tell me? CO2 is a neutral molecule. CO2 is a neutral molecule. In a neutral molecule, number of protons are equal to number of electrons. Yes or no? Number of protons are equal to number of electrons. Is that clear? Yep. So that will be 6 plus 8 plus 8 equal to 22 electrons. 22 electrons. It's very good. That's very good. See, Rhea, they will give you, for example, uh, she's asking, sir, how will we come to know that this is basically charged or neutral body? See, if this will be a charged body, it will be like, say, something like OH negative. So you will have one charge over there. H positive will have one charge over there. Yes or no? Ah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Everyone? How to identify electrons in an atom? Very simple. If atom, very simple. That's a good question he's asking. See, in a neutral, in neutral atom, atom is neutral, na? So in neutral atom, number of protons, number of protons is equal to number of electrons. Please understand. Because it's neutral. Yeah, NaOH is neutral. NaOH is neutral. Anything which does not contain any charge will be neutral. Ha, ask your doubt, beta. Ask your doubt. How do we find number of atoms in a molecule having water of crystallization? No, no, that will come later on. That will come later on. Don't worry. I'll give that also. I'll give that also. Ha, NS3 also will come there. No, no, no. In general, I mean, see, number of protons are equal to number of electrons if the atom is neutral. Always. Always. Understand the concept to find electrons. No, no, beta. This is very simple. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Come, 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 come. I'll ask you more questions. The point is that you do basically. No, no. Haber process will come later on. It will do it later on. Haber process not required here. Hai na? Okay. Chalo, chalo. Hai. Come on. Tell me. Uh, let's take NH3. NH3. Tell me number of number of protons, electrons, and neutron present in one molecule of NH3. In one molecule of NH3. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Find out number of protons, neutrons, and electrons separately. Separately. Be careful, be careful. That's what I'm saying. This preparation requires practice. It requires practice. Handsome, I'm doing that. Watch, watch, watch. That's what I'm telling you. So ammonia is like say N, H, H and H. So protons will be how much? How many protons? The atomic number is seven. One, one and one. So seven plus one plus one plus one will be equal to 10. So 10 protons are there. 10 protons are there. Okay. Who will tell me neutron? Who will tell me neutron? Neutrons, this is 14. This is one, one, one. Mass number is one. So now tell me one thing, it will be 7 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equal to 7, yes or no? Very good, very, very good, very good, very good. Not 10 neutrons, 7 neutrons. Most of you have given me the wrong answer earlier. Yes or no? Okay, okay, okay. So electrons, and I told you this, there is no charge present. There is no charge present over there. So protons will be equal to electrons. Protons will be equal to electrons. It will be 7 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 10 electrons. In a neutral species, number of proton is equal to number of electron. Yes or no? Getting it or not? Is that clear now? Everyone, those who are asking me this thing, is it clear? Very good. How to find uh, 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 uh. Okay, chalo, take, come, come over, over, over here. Come on, let me ask you one more question. Let me ask you one more question. Okay, I'm giving you H2S. 
In H2S, you have to find out number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Jaldi karenge, last question. This is the last question of the day. Be quick. Fastest fingers first. Fastest fingers first. Hydrogen does not have, remember that, hydrogen does not have a neutron. It only contains proton and electron. Hydrogen atom contains only proton and only neutron. Good. So H2S will be H, H and S. And if I talk about protons, one proton, one proton, sulfur contains 16 protons. I have given this homework, you have to do it. Okay, now neutrons will be how many? How many neutrons? Come on. Neutrons, zero, zero and, and what? 16 again. So this will be 18, this will be 16 and electrons, I told you, number of protons is equal to number of electrons in a neutral species. It will be one plus one plus 16 and equal to 18 again. Is that clear to all of you? Is that clear now? Keep on thinking, keep on doing, try it yourself. Most of the things which you feel is a doubt kind of thing, please revise that before the next class. You will never ever come across any problem. Okay? Okay, beta? Okay? Hmm. As far as number of neutrons are concerned, this is the homework I gave you. You have to remember from hydrogen to calcium. Don't do it more than that as of now. It's not required. Please learn the mass number and the atomic number. That's your homework. Atomic number and mass number. Those who are having the problem with this part, please learn the mass number and atomic number. You will know it. And please attend the previous classes as well. Okay? Okay. Chalo, thank you, Bacho. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you all. Bye-bye. You were good today. Very good today. Very, very good. Very good today, Bacho. God bless you. Bye-bye.